Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about Picard's method. It is also a method of finding the successive approximation. And here I have selected a numerical in which we are asked to find the successive approximation up to fourth order of initial value problem. And for initial value problem, you will be provided with the uh, boundary conditions. And here we are provided with a numerical problem that is y dash equals to 1 plus xy and this is our boundary condition and now let us see how we can solve this numerical and I hope this video is going to be very help helpful to all of you guys and without any further delay let's get started. So moving towards the solution of this video, first of all, I would like to take you through the formula for uh, formula that is used for uh, solving any numeric problem based upon the Picard's method. And we ha we are provided with the formula and the formula says we have formula and the formula is given as y n plus 1 e will be equals to y note plus integration of integration lower limit x naught upper limit x and f x comma y n dx this is the formula for so finding solving any numerical based upon picard's method now let us rewrite the equation and we are provided with the equation equation first let us write read down here solution and after solution we have y dash equals to 1 plus xy and I you can write it as y dash equals to dy upon dx equals to 1 plus xy and now guys dy by dx is actually the function of x and y so f x comma y will be equals to 1 plus xy also we are provided with the boundary condition that is y 0 equals to 1 we have y 0 equals to 1 so cover this then we have y y naught value will be equals to 1 and x naught value is 0 we have x naught equals to 0 and y naught equals to 1 furthermore uh, write down here put n equals to 0 so on taking n equals to 0 we will have here this formula becomes y1 so y1 will be equals to y naught as it is plus integration x naught to x f x comma y naught dx now see here guys put the value of y naught and we have we are already provided with the value of y naught equals to 1 so 1 plus integration of x naught value we have x naught value equals to 0 so 0 to x f x comma and y naught we have x uh, f x comma y naught and we have f x comma y equals to 1 plus x y so i will write it as uh, 1 plus x y naught 1 plus x y naught dx and we have y naught equals to 1 so we will have an equation here that is 1 plus integration 0 to x oh sorry i hope it is visible now uh, times 1 plus x y naught is 1 so it gets 1 and 1 multiplied by x we get x dx now find the integration of this term so on integrating we will have 1 plus integrating integration of x is well, sorry 1 is x with respect to when we integrate 1 with respect to x we will have x plus and integration of x will be x square upon 2 x to the power n means uh, integration of x to the power n will be equals to x to the power n plus 1 and divide by n plus 1 so that is here power is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 divided by n plus 1 means 1 plus 1 equals to 2 and uh, we need to put limit here that is 0 to x so first upper limit so add as it is and lower limit whole will get becomes zero so finally we will get one plus x plus x square upon two 
now this is our upper limit if we put zero here then further behind this all the terms will be zero so i have uh, i have not written the uh, value which we get after the, the putting the lower limit uh, so here it is or if you ask me then how uh, how to put the lower limit so how lower limit will get minus zero x times in place of x will put zero uh, so zero minus again zero square upon two so we will get finally this much portion one plus x plus x square upon two and this is the value of y1 so this is the value of y1 which which we will require and we will require this value when we will find the value for n equals to 1 so now let us move toward the step 2 when we put put n equals to 1 so uh, put put n equals to 1 so on putting n equals to 1 in this equation we will have y2 so we will have y n plus 1 means 2 equals to y naught plus integration x naught to x and f x comma y 1 dx now put the values here we have y naught equals to 1 so 1 plus integration and x naught is 0 to x f x comma y1 and the value of y1 is uh, leave it as it is y1 and dx now in second step we will have 1 plus integration of 0 to x and now see here guys we have f x comma y1 means y this time y will becomes y1 and we have x f x comma y equals to 1 plus x times y so it will get uh, y1 it will get y1 means uh, it is uh, uh, here it is here it is i hope it is visible 1 plus x and y1 now what we need to do is we have to multiply this y1 with x so we will have here first of all we have 1 as it is this is 1 as it is 1 plus and x is uh, x is multiplied with y1 value and we have y1 value equals to 1 plus x plus x square upon 2 and dx now first of all multiply this then we will integrate here so we will have 1 plus integration 0 to x 1 plus x plus x square plus x to the power 3 by 2 and finally dx now integrate this then we will have here 1 plus an integration we will get x plus x square upon 2 plus x to the power 3 upon 3 plus x to the power 4 upon 2 times 4 means 8 and put the limit sign so again we will put upper limit first and then we this much portion we will get as it is so we will have here 1 plus x plus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 plus x to the power 4 by 8 and on putting the lower limit all will get 0 so we do not need to write is write these terms and this is the value of y2 so guys uh, in the question we were asked to solve up to fourth order so this time we will put y equals to 2 sorry n equals to 2 so we will get put right here put n equals to 2 then we will have y n plus 1 means y3 because we have calculated up to y1 so this time we will calculate sorry we have calculated up to y2 uh, and now we will calculate the value for y3 so again the formula is as it is that is y naught plus integration of x naught to x and f x comma y1 yn dx now we have n equals to 2 so and the value of y naught is 1 plus integration of x naught to x f x comma y n is 2 dx now we will have here 1 plus integration of x naught to x and f x comma y2 will be equals to 1 plus x y2 
dx because it was the value of f x y and in place of y we have y2 so y will become y2 and this is x f x y so now put the value of y2 x node to x and we will have 1 plus x times and value of y2 is value of y2 is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 plus x to the power 3 by 3 plus x to the power 4 by 8 and dx now first of all we need to multiply it so we will have 1 plus integration of x node to x 1 plus x plus x square x times x x square x to the power 3 by 2 plus x to the power 4 by 3 plus x to the power 5 by 8 and finally dx now on integrating this we will get 1 plus x plus x square by 2 plus x to the power 3 by 3 plus x to the power 4 by 8 plus x to the power 5 by 3 times 5 will be equals to 15 plus x to the power 6 by 8 times 6 8 times 6 equals to 48 and this as it is now uh, x note is 0 so 0 to x you can write it or uh, uh, you can write it as x note uh, we have provided you the value of x note that was 0 you can write it as 0 or you can simply put it here 0 or it would be better we are provided with the value so put it 0 here so on putting the lower value all will get 0 and on putting the upper value it is x so we will get the similar value that is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 plus x to the power 3 by 3 plus x to the power 4 by 8 plus x to the power 5 upon 15 plus x to the power 6 upon 48 now we need to find the final approximation that is for fourth order and this time we will put uh, n equals to 3 then we will find the value of y4 process is similar uh, and now do that now put n equals to 3 so we will have y4 equals to y note plus integration of x note to x f x comma y3 dx so now we will have y note value is 1 plus integration x note value is 0 to x and fx comma y is 1 plus x y3 dx so we will have here 1 plus integration 0 to x 1 plus x multiply by y3 and the value of y3 is 1 plus x plus x square upon 2 plus x to the power 3 upon 3 plus x to the power 4 upon 8 plus x to the power 5 upon 15 plus x to the power 6 upon 48 and uh, this whole integration with respect to x so we will have here 1 plus and uh, integration sign as it is 1 plus x multiply with 1x plus x square plus x to the power 3 by 2 plus x to the power 4 by 3 plus x to the power 5 upon 8 plus x to the power 6 upon 15 plus x to the power 7 upon 48 and uh, its integration so integrate with respect to x we will get x plus x square by 2 plus x to the power 3 by 3 plus x to the power 4 by 8 plus x to the power 5 upon 15 plus x to the power 6 upon 48 plus x to the power 7 upon 7 times 15 we will get 105 plus x to the power 8 upon 48 times 8 we will get 384 and upper limit and lower limit so putting lower uh, in, uh, in putting upper limit we will get this much portion and on putting lower limit all will get zero so our final answer will be 1 plus x plus x square by 2 plus x to the power 3 by 3 plus x to the power 4 by 8 plus x to the power 5 by 15 plus x to the power 6 upon 48 
plus x to the power 7 upon 105 plus x to the power 8 upon 384 this is our final answer and uh, i hope this video was helpful to all of you guys do like share this video with your friend see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and one thing more if you are uh, guys are looking for some other methods related to civil engineering or uh, sorry no, numerical method subject then i have created a separate playlist you can simply check the out the play link in the description S see you in the next video S stay safe and take care of yourself